Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with SBR contributor Jordan Sharp. And today we're going to be looking at how those odds have been acting up for the game between the Tennessee Titans and the Baltimore Ravens. How you doing today, Jordan? Doing good, Dex. Thanks, man. All right, my man. No problem. And for the odds makers talking about this game right now, they opened up the Ravens at 12 points. But obviously that line didn't stick uh, much, and it quickly moved to minus 9.5 and, and minus 10 right now in a few other books. Um, I really don't know about this game much. I mean, right now, from what I've seen from the Ravens, they're playing a lot better than they were last, uh, the last few weeks. But the Titans, I mean, they, they've just been struggling to find, uh, find some rhythm right now. So I, I, I can't really peg this line. I mean, where do you think it's going to close out, Jordan? I think we're probably seeing around nine and a half. Uh, I, I, I think that 10 may be just a little bit too high. But then again, the Ravens are one of those teams that, you know, as we've seen from time to time this season, their upside is very high, but their their floor is really low. So they're, they they could very easily at home against a team like the Titans, you know, blow them out by 30 points, or they could very easily only skate by with you know a touchdown victory or even a three point victory. Yeah. So um, I, I think that the the probably the former is more likely just because the Ravens, you know, the I'll, I'll let, me, let me backtrack. It, it, the former is probably more likely just because the Titans right now are probably going to be starting a rookie quarterback again and don't have much of a defense, whereas the Ravens have a very polished offense and running game and have a pretty good defense as well when playing at home. So if if I am going to wager on this game, I think I have to back the, uh, the, the, the Ravens just because they're the better team. And, and, and even though it's a high spread, I just, I just don't, you know, I, I can't find myself to trust a rookie quarterback on the road, no matter what the, yeah. uh, no matter what the spread is. So it, 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 either for me, it's probably just to lay off or on the Ravens. But uh, yeah, for most likely for me, just because I think there is a lot of other value across the board this week. Thank God, because last week was horrific. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I think the Ravens might be, might have some value here at, at nine and a half, especially if this line goes lower, uh, which is possible because I think we have seen some. Uh, some money on the uh, Titans, so uh, but if, if if not, I still think the Ravens are the play here, if if anything. All right, Matt, but you touched two kind of interesting points here: the offense that the that the Titans are bringing that is pretty flimsy, and their defense that's pretty you know weak as well. Uh, what's the total looking at like right now? That's another interesting point you bring up because it's forty three and a half, which is one of the lower totals of the week. Now, uh, like I said, if the Ravens come out and play like the crappy Ravens, th this game's going to go way under uh, right. because the Titans probably aren't going to have much success on offense either way this game goes. But, you know, then again, if they do blow them out by 30 points, the likelihood of them scoring, you know, uh, you know, this game being 41 to 7, you know, at the end of it might actually, you know, the odds of that be pretty high. So, um, yeah, the, the the over might not be a bad play here. Um, I Why not why, why don't we tease it? Why don't we just do a teaser here and uh, post up uh, two team 7-point tees on the Ravens and the uh, the under? That you know, there, there it is. Da Dax, Dax Floyd, everyone. That that is uh, that's probably the, that's probably the best way to go here. Because if you go, uh, if you're at seven points and you go from nine and a half to two and a half, and then go down from like uh, let's say at bookmaker, you go from forty four to thirty seven. That's that's an excellent uh, excellent teaser. Actually, value, it would right? go it would go up because we're taking the uh, the under. So it would go yeah, actually it would go up. It would yeah, go the other yeah. way. Either way, I think it actually might not be a bad play. Just because even go if, even if you go move the uh, total up to fifty points or higher. You know, that's still that's still probably not a bad value either. So you know, either way you go with this one, probably maybe you're right. Maybe the uh, maybe the value is with going a teaser instead of a straight wager on either the total or spread. Yeah, yeah, you never know. I mean, it's it definitely it's not going to be an interesting game, but hell, I mean, if there's money to be made off of it, you know, why not? Exactly, exactly. Good point. <laughs> All right, my man. As always, Jordan, it's a pleasure talking NFL football with you, and I look forward to doing this again next week. All right, thanks, Dax. No problem. For SBR picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.